okay so welcome back to my channel and in this video i will be explaining how you can do the post molecular simulation dynamics assessment and in my previous video i have already explained how to perform the entire molecular simulation dynamics in gromax uh, so that part is done and this will be probably the last part uh, where i will be explaining how to analyze the trajectories that are obtained after performing molecular simulation dynamics so now this is the folder onto our desktop where uh, I had performed the entire simulation dynamics uh, in my previous tutorial videos. So in this folder, we have all the files uh, that are needed or that were uh, obtained as an output after performing the uh, simulation dynamics with the help of Gromax. So this folder contains all the trajectory files that we want to use in this video okay so i will just open the tutorial uh, command file as well uh, this file as i mentioned earlier in my previous video as well uh, i will leave the link in the description below uh, from where you can just download this uh, file from my github uh, repository so uh, let us just begin so in this video i will be explaining about how you can analyze your trajectories the output trajectories after performing the md simulation run and do the rmsd rmsf calculations so rmsd calculations rmsf calculations uh, hydrogen bonds how how many hydrogen bonds are uh, produced between the protein and the ligand radius of gyne, uh, gyration and energy calculation so all this uh, things that i will explain which will which is also considered as the post simulation assessment so let us begin so what we need to do is that we have to first of all open the terminal into this folder so for that we will just right click somewhere in this folder and we will click on this option which says open in terminal the terminal should be targeted to the folder which we are working in which is also called as a working directory for us the working directory is gromax protein ligand main and over here in the terminal it should uh, name the same name so uh, means that this terminal has been targeted into our working directory now we have to first enable this uh, terminal to make use of the gromax commands so for that what we will do is that uh, we will just copy the source of this gromax installation package that i have performed how did i did, did this i have also created a video on how to properly install gromax so if you have done the dirty installation then probably you would not need to run this command but if you have compiled your gromax into your system then you have to make use of this command so that your terminal knows from where to fetch the uh, gromax files okay so uh, gmx help okay i'm so sorry uh, gmx minus minus version okay so yes uh, gpu support is enabled and my terminal is able to uh, detect the gromax so i will just clear it down everything for now and let us begin with the tutorial part so i'm just keeping my terminal over here we will focus on this uh, text editor file over here now uh, in my previous video what i have done is that i have made use of all these commands and uh, as you can see uh, we have completed this part which is final md production so this is done right and we have got all the outputs of this uh, md simulation run which is there in this working di directory in front of us okay so this working directory gromax protein ligand main which is there onto my desktop has all the output files of md production runs or you can say it has all the trajectories it which were op obtained after performing the final md production run so this is done now let us begin with the step which says recentering and rewrapping the coordinates. So once your simulation is done, what you have to do is that we have to uh, recenter the entire simulation box to its original box, and then from that point we have to analyze its RMSD and RMSF. Okay, so I will just copy this entire command, and you can do the same thing. Uh, 
as far as you have followed the same uh, tutorial that i have you have you can simply copy this entire command and simply paste it into the terminal okay so after uh, running this command you will get the output file which is md underscore center dot xtc okay so this has to be the output file okay so this output file once we get after running this uh, command we will use it for the uh, rmsd rmsf hydrogen bond the radius of gyration calculations okay so i'm just pressing this command enter and now it is saying you have to choose uh, protein for centering and system for output so uh, i will just zoom this so if you just see over here we have to choose protein for centering so it is saying select a group for centering so here you choose uh, the group one which is the protein so the number you have to give over here is one why because the number one is corresponding to this protein so you just press one give enter and system for the output so system is zero okay select the group for output so we have to give zero over here and hit enter okay so now uh, as i have mentioned earlier in my previous video when the gromax give you any kind of quotes like this okay means that you have successfully executed the command and as i have mentioned earlier if your working directory if the command has um, has been executed properly it will create the output file which was md underscore xtc md underscore xtc so first of all let us see whether this file is created or not so it is md underscore center dot xtc so this is the file that has been created just now okay so as you can see md underscore center dot xtc so this file is now been created and we will be using this file for the upcoming commands as well for rmsd uh, now uh, in my tutorial uh, there is this one extra command we should not be using this command why because in my previous video on how to uh, visualize the md simulation movie and how to create a movie from movie you can also fetch the pdb uh, files of different uh, frames so you can do it in ucsf chimera as well so for for the rmsd calculation rmsf calculation and other calculations that i will be showing this command is not necessary so we will now directly jump to this rmsd calculations uh, command so let us see how to do it now uh, we will open the terminal the terminal is as mentioned earlier it is targeted inside the same working directory so there should not be an, any issue now uh, what we need to do is we need to simply copy this command okay and you have to control v this command and i will press enter now it is saying select a group for least square fit okay so least square fit you choose protein so you choose one number for protein give enter and then you choose ligand which is lig so you give 13 and press enter okay so it has created the uh, output file which is rmsd.xvg okay so uh, rmsd.xvg as you can see this is the file it has been already created it is rmsd.xvg okay so now let us do one more thing let us open this file and see how it looks so you can simply do xm grace give a space and give the output file name that is rmsd.xvg or over here rmsd.xvg so it is rmsd.xvg and simply press enter uh, for this command to run you need to have grace installed onto a system how to install grace i have already created a video on it so go to my playlist and have a look at it how to set up your system for uh, md simulations uh, using gromax so you need to have grace software installed so as soon as you give the command xm grace and the name of the file and hit enter it will show you a graph like this so this is basically the uh, graph of rmst okay it is lig uh, fit protein so it is how 
is the RMSD of ligand with respect to protein. So that is uh, one of the things. Now, as you can see over here, the x-axis has the time in picoseconds. What if you want to convert this time into nanoseconds? So you need to make a little change into the command. I will show you that. So uh, you take the same command once again. Okay, you just oops. Let me just copy and paste the entire command once again. Okay, after the command, what you need to do is you give a small uh, addition to this command. You do dash ts, sorry, tu, tu space ns means it will give the output of time in terms of nanoseconds okay so now if i hit enter i will repeat the same thing again one and then 13 give enter okay so it has said backed off rmsd to rmsd.xvg1 and it has created a new rmsd file so i will just show you that so the older RMSD file that we have created have um, come over here at the bottom of this uh, uh, file explorer or the uh, window where the unused file or the files which should be replaced or which are replaced the older version of the replaced file are uh, kept over here with two hashes symbol in, in the prefix and the suffix. Okay, so you can also delete these files if you want. So now the output file that has been created that is rmsd.svg alone. So yeah, where is rmsd.svg? So this file. So this is the newer file. This one is the older file which is replaced. So let us now open the uh, grace command, uh, grace and type the same command so xm grace rmsd.svg. I will press enter the same graph open with you but as you can see uh, at the bottom you, what you got is the x-axis have now the time in nanoseconds okay so two nanosecond run you got the graph of two nanoseconds uh, that is liquid protein okay now you can open multiple uh, you can create multiple rmsd files and open all together i will show you that as well now what you will do is that uh, let us just do the same thing again but with a different way uh, so you give this same command okay so but you give the output name rmsd1 okay and you give enter so we are doing the same command means this one the same command again but here we are putting one number at the back so the output file will be rmsd1 okay so anyways let us just do that now what I will do is that I will uh, select the first group which is protein and here with respect to protein I will select the backbone okay and rather than selecting the ligand okay so I will select the backbone so I will press 4 okay so we have two output files right now one is the uh, regular rmsd which contains the information about the ligand uh, rmsd1 file uh, rmsd1 this one has the information regarding the backbone so information of the ligand is there in this uh, information of rmsd for the backbone is there in this okay so we want to open both these files together how how can we do it so what you do is you just type give the command xm grace for the name of the software now you do rmsd dot xvg and then rmsd one dot xvg you give the name of both the files i will just do it like this so you give the name of the uh, software then the first file and then the second file now what you do is you press enter you will see both the graphs opening all together into your uh, uh, screen so both the both the information is there in the same graph you can take a screenshot of this and you can put it for your publication if you want so in this way you can just play around with these commands and uh, you can choose the output graph of the way you want so this is all about the rmsd that i wanted to explain now i will close this so rmsd is done 
now let us move further for uh, rmsf so rmsf i will just copy this command okay uh, i will just copy this command now there are so many options for every command that you do there are so many options so you select any appropriate options of your choice for now i will be selecting number four that is backbone so i want to know the uh, rmsf of the backbone let us do one thing let us uh, search for the rmsf for ligand so i will say 13 number because i want to check the rmsf uh, for the ligand so i will press 13 okay uh, and the output file should be what the output file should be rmsf.xvg okay so let us see that file has been created or not uh, rmsf.xvg this is the file that has been created so now let us open this into grace so xm grace rmsf.xvg hit enter so it is rms fluctuations of the ligand uh, these are the atom numbers into the entire file so you can see this this is the uh, rmsf of the ligand that is observed throughout the cumulative uh, simulation uh, run okay so i will just close this so this is for the ligand similarly you can make the graph for ligand or backbone or protein whatever you want to do what is your agenda depending on your agenda you can uh, select the options and create the graph now let us move to the uh, next very important thing that is uh, hydrogen bond so what we will do is we will uh, copy this command uh, if you add at the back tu ns then the output file will be in nanosecond so let us do that for for now so we'll just copy this and you press enter now it says we have to choose 1 and 13 so why 1 because we want to choose between which two groups the hydrogen bonds have been made so uh, we want to check the hydrogen bonds that have been made between protein and ligand so first we will choose group number 1 give enter and then we will choose group number 13 and give enter okay so it has uh, created a file which what should be the output file it is hb hb stands for hydrogen bond dot xvg so let us search for that file where has to be there has to be h okay so this is the file that has been created okay so i'll just go back so here on to your uh, terminal you now type xm grace hb dot xvg give enter in this kind of hydrogen bondings between the protein and ligand uh, that may be forming throughout the simulation is is represented okay so this is the hydrogen bond graph that is that has appeared in front of you okay so i will close this now so this is about the hydrogen bond so till now we have done uh, rmsd rmsf hydrogen bond and now let us do the last thing that is uh, radius of gyration so uh, you can choose this which says radius of gyration and okay now you can choose uh, you can just copy this command press enter the output file should be should be uh, gyrate1.xvg so i will just remove one from here if you would let it be no problem gyrate1.xvg so i will remember this okay now it is saying uh, reading the mdp file version blah 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 select a group so you want to search the radius of gyration for which molecule so now let us say i want to search radius of gyration for uh, the entire protein for now per se okay so i can select group one okay here it's it is shown in the tutorial that choose the group of your choice so you can choose the uh, group of your choice so now my choice i am giving the choice as protein that is number one so i will i am giving number one over here number one and i will press enter okay so it has created the file which says gyrate one so let me just see how the file looks xm grace again and then gyr gyrate one dot xvg i will press enter 
so this is the radius of gyration for the entire protein throughout the simulation time okay so uh, uh, the time is in uh, picoseconds you can do the same thing for uh, nanoseconds uh, you have to add tu my uh, minus tu ns so let me just repeat the command so this is was the command minus tu and ns and i will press enter uh oh just showing some kind of an error so this is probably not working for this uh, radius of gyration but anyways uh, okay so we have done okay so the last part that i want to explain you over here is that uh, energy calculations so you can use the command which says gmx energy minus md dot edr and you can give this command over here this will ex uh, give you several options that which kind of energy that you are looking for okay so let us just go for any one of this so we'll go for this t protein ligand so that is 48 okay i will press enter enter two times and it is just showing me the average of that is t stands for temperature so this is the average temperature that has stayed uh, now let us just do something else we can also do lmb so that is 50 okay so let us repeat the same command that is gmx energy and now i will do 50 i will press enter enter twice okay so we can also open the output file so like how to open this file so output file is energy 1.xvg so if you just see our command um energy where where is e energy 1.xvg okay so i will just type mostly you will get the straight line but anyways i will just show you energy.xvg you can open uh, yeah so you are getting this straight line like this okay so you just do your own, own homework and try to learn what is basically happening and what it is trying to tell we can check the kinetic energy of this uh, as well so uh, kinetic energy or the potential energy whatever you want to check bond energy okay so let us try something else as well over here okay so gmx energy uh, i will replace the file with some other information so let us go with this ljsr so i will write type 9 and i will press enter enter and then i will write xm grace e for energy and we'll hit enter now as you can see this is the gromax energy ljsr that we have got for the uh, uh, entire complex okay throughout the time uh, that is in picoseconds let us over here check whether the tu ns is working or not minus tu ns give enter it is saying the command line is not able to understand minus t u n s okay anyway so okay so uh, in this video i have explained how to perform the rmsd uh, rmsf edge bonds radius of gyration and energy calculations for your uh, trajectories that you have obtained after performing md simulation so this is the basics of the post md simulations and how you can create the graphs for each of the assessments that you have done so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, this uh, i and i hope this video is informative to you uh, catch you guys into the next one soon